What's up? What's going on? And welcome to the very first episode of Boss Moves, the podcast. Um, I am your host, DB Clips. And today we have a very special guest, a uh, very special guest. This individual is uh, definitely one in a million. He is a multi-talented musician. He is an entrepreneur, a business owner. He is a father, a husband, and ultimately, he is a friend of the podcast. Everybody, let's welcome Mr. Nigel Smith. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So uh, we got Nigel in. Um, Nigel is actually a client of mine uh, here in the barbershop. Um, we've been, there's been talks of just, you know, uh, uh, I've, I've asked, been asking Nigel so many different questions about just his business and what he does. Uh, he's definitely been an inspiration to me um, just in the business realm of things. And, uh, man, I, I just, the biggest thing for me, man, when it comes to people, meeting people like Nigel, um, I'm, I'm like a sponge. I, I love to um, to pretty much just gain knowledge on business, you know, in itself. Um, so the biggest thing for me is just picking his brain. Um, I want to know more about uh, just what he does, his career. And, yeah, we're going to jump right into it. So we got some questions that I'm going to be asking him, and I'm going to let him kind of take it away and do his thing and just pretty much uh, give you guys the – the, the juice on, you know, how to be successful in business and uh, to be a successful entrepreneur. So we're going to jump right into it. Okay. Let's Ready? go. Let's go. All right, let's get to it. Let's get to it. So what exactly is your business and uh, what services do you provide or do you offer? So my business is a entertainment and education company. Okay. Uh, so we service from, when I tell people, think about anything dealing with music, Entertainment, mm -hmm. education, families, children, adults, everyone alike. Got you, got you. Yeah, we provide it all. Got you, got you. Got you. So that's, that's when we say entertainment, that's, you know, parties. Uh huh. Um, Concerts. Events, events, weddings. Weddings. Mm -hmm. The works. The works. One stop shop. One stop shop. We provide all of your edutainment needs. Got you. And so that's actually, as you said, that, that's actually the, the uh, the name of your company, right? The, yes. The Edutainment Group. Group. Mm -hmm. The Edutainment Group. I, I like that. So you put the education, entertainment together. It's creative. Now. And so, and how that yeah, came creative. to be, it it came to be really um, back in two thousand four, okay. where everything started with Mr. Nigel's music. Mr. Nigel. Mr. Music. Nigel's music. So at that particular point, you were pretty much um, kind of operating individually, just as like a. Freelance type of yep. Uh, so so prior to that, I was the director of music uh, for churches. Gotcha. And then in 2004, I launched going out to schools gotcha. and gotcha. teaching music in the schools. Gotcha. As my own music educator, uh, and then of course, what came along with that was the, the the live music, the parties, the events, and all of that, so yeah. Got you, got you. So you said 2004 is when you kind of got, so we, 20 years. 20 years. This year. This year. 20 year anniversary. 20 year anniversary. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's big, man, that's big, that's big. That's oh, big. man, yeah. Um, So, I mean, even even going back to then, you know, when you said kind of when you started out, what, and, and I will even go back even further than that. Um, What actually got you to immerse yourself into music? What What got you to the point to where you, um, was like, because essentially, let's say we play multi-talented multi a multi-talented musician. Um, so, play the keys. Keys. Bass. Bass. Drums. Drums. Some guitar. Some guitar. Ukulele. Okay, ukulele. Yeah. Okay, so so what, initially, the, the, the keys was your kind of go-to at first? Actually, believe it or not, my, my initial instrument that I was introduced to was drums. Okay. That was the Drum first, first instrument that I, you know, um, met my mom. Gotcha. Got me, but then because of my brother, uh, may he rest in peace, my brother Kevin. Um, Sorry to hear that. Yeah, he yeah. he was the one. He was very instrumental of getting me into music. I wanted to be just like him. Yeah, and so that's why. I so so when did? Because essentially now I think what you pretty much, uh, whenever you do go around and you perform, is it? Are you more so kind of doing the keys, playing play, pretty much playing like the keyboard or singing? That's pretty much kind of what you. Yeah, your, your main so, uh, thing yeah, that you do. My right? main thing that I do now, I travel around. I'm an in, MC entertainer. MC uh, yeah, so a lot of people think DJ, but I'm an MC. I entertain, and so I also set up the keyboard right. 
and will have that, you know, accompany me yeah. in what I'm doing. You know, if I'm doing a big party, I, of course, I don't set up the, the keyboard. At that point, I'm actually. You got the mic. I got, you the, got mic. the mic. You, you, you rolling. You rolling. Getting everybody dancing, everybody yeah. partying. And then if I need to, if I need to sit back and do a little key action, then I, little, yeah. little, little serenade some people. Little serenade and okay, you know, get them okay. singing along. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know how we do it. That's what's uh, up, man. That's yeah. what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. Um, so, so now I think we we might have touched on this somewhat, but you know, at what point did you kind of basically realize that this could be uh, something that you could kind of turn into a business and um, begin to? generate income based off your talent you know what I mean like what at what point were you like man I'm good enough to really take this thing like out and, and really um, showcase my talent and pretty much offer um, a certain type of service to people well I really I think back to you know my, my upbringing and having you know a family that really invested you know and it was my, the mentality right you know right. it goes back to that you know, where my family always said you could be anything you wanted to be. Yeah. Put your mind to it. Yeah. You could really do it. Yeah. And so that kind of resonated with me throughout my, you know, elementary years and, mm -hmm. you know, middle school, high school, then off to college. And after that, I, I realized, because I was serving in ministry, right. throughout, you know, at churches and different things. Mm -hmm. um, but I never forget, you know, just uh, just hearing uh, that, that resounding, you could do it. Right, just, right. just put your mind to it and jump out there. Yeah. And so I remember I, I decided to do it. I decided to step out and uh, launch my own business. You know, again because I wanted to do something different. Mm -hmm. Wanted to do something unique and fun. Yeah. You know. Um, so that's, that's so. So what was because I and and that could be a. Granted, I know that you were obviously at that particular point. Um. um I guess pretty much you were very confident in your ability, your talent at that, mm -hmm. at that particular point. So what what got you to the point to where, um, I know you said that you were doing this through like uh, elementary, middle school kind of. Preschool. Um, preschool. About, yeah, don't forget about the preschool. So, That's where it all so, started. So were you in a position to be able to perform? I mean, granted, not obviously not to, I guess, make money or anything like that, but at that particular point in time or in your life, um, middle school, uh, elementary school, middle school, were you like performing in front of like cl uh, crowds or at that particular point in time or um, because I, I know a lot of times most kids that that do that when they get to the point to where you know what I mean it's time to step out and, and uh, to do it you know in terms of creating a business it's like it's easy yeah you know what I mean it's I've been doing this since I was you know what I mean so is that something that you did I mean obviously I know that you played in church uh -huh. you know yep. coming up but yep. was it yep. was it were you playing at um you know, on stage at, you know, any type of other events or anything like that? Yeah, so uh, it's funny that you, that you asked me that question <laughs> because it takes me back to um, my very first talent show. Okay, yeah, 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 talent my show. My yeah. very first talent show, um, they asked me to host the talent show in the fifth grade. I've been scared to death. And I was scared <laughs> to death. No, literally, I was scared to death, scared to, death. to get out there. And i never forget where I'm standing backstage I had on this white suit, <laughs> red shirt. <laughs> yep. Again. And so and it's okay. And they, they counted down and said, it's your time. I right. want you to host this. And so at that moment in time, DB, I, I really, I mean, I was scared. Yeah. But I also knew that they saw something in me exactly. for me to be the exactly. host of this talent show. And so it's like, when they count, when they had the countdown, as soon as they pointed to me and had me go on stage, it's like a light went off. Yeah. It came on right there. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I went from like, oh, to like, hello, everybody. Welcome to our fifth yeah. grade talent show. And it was like, wow. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's what it took. It took me jumping out there and being scared. Yeah, yeah. And let me say to everyone out there, listen. It's scary, but you know what? You can do it. Believe in yourself. Jump out there. You know, if you're equipped, you I'll, I'll always, you know, I was always told that, you know what? If God has it for you, you can definitely do it. Yeah, yeah. All right? You okay. can definitely do it, for sure. Yeah, and I, I think, too, you know, even in, in, you know, when you're prepared. When you're prepared. Right, when, you, when you're prepared. Yeah. Um, 
you know, even if you are scared, once you get out there and it's time to go, it's go time. Because you've put in the time, you put in the reps, um, you have you prepared, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. It's like everything that you did just comes back to you, just like bop, 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 bop. I've done this so many different times over and over. Yeah. Even even with um, with sports, you know, me playing playing ball and stuff like that coming up, it was like, you know, yeah, you know, you're going to have time going jump ball when it's, when it's, when it's, or well, before the game, you know what I mean? Like you got the bubble guts as they, as they say, Yeah. you know what I'm saying? You got the nerves or whatever. And, um, but it's like, man, it's like, man, this is what I do, man. I've yeah. been doing this for forever. You know what I mean? So. Whenever it's time for jump ball, man, and it's like once that, once we get that tip off, we ready. You yeah. know, a trip down, yeah. back, we good. You know what yeah. I mean? So, yeah, most definitely, man, preparation uh, is definitely a big thing in that. So, I mean, the next question, man, um, and, and this is actually a question that a lot of you up-and-coming entrepreneurs, even entrepreneurs that are actually in business now, um, this is something that that I feel like is very vital and important, but this question I'm getting ready to ask. Um, so, Nigel, you've been in business for 20 years now, right? Uh, mm -hmm. This year was the anniversary. Mm -hmm. How have you been able to reinvent yourself? Because I feel like a lot of times, you know, once you get to a certain level of success as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, um, there can be um, people can get stagnant. Get people can get comfortable. Mm -hmm. And in all honesty, you know, that's it's kind of a bad thing to, to get stagnant and get comfortable because at the end of the day we all want growth. Absolutely, you're in, you're out. We get into we get into business or we you know take the route of being an entrepreneur so that we can work hard for a short amount of time, and then on the back end we can sit back and relax. Absolutely. Uh, so, tell me, how have you been able to reinvent yourself over the past twenty years to um, to to better enhance your your business um, or you know to just create growth within your business? Well. What I what I realize is that things are ever changing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, and you're right. If you stop and get stagnant, things could die. Right, it, right. it could literally fizzle out. And so, tr trying to stay abreast of what's going on outside uh, of what we do right, right. as a company, um, and not look at another business as a threat, but look at it as an opportunity. Exactly. You know, look at others. You know, seeing what's out there. Don't just look at what you're doing. You know, even in the same field, look outside of your field mm -hmm. and begin to. How can I, you know, look? How can I incorporate that? Incorporate this into right. what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think again, just stay abreast. Keep looking out. You know, what's the what's happening around you versus just looking at what you're doing. You know, yourself. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, yeah, and, and and even with that, I, I think um, with reinventing yourself, and I and I, I kind of ask this question uh, to you as well. But social media, ah, yeah, social media is is a big thing in uh, in this day and age. Um, obviously, whenever you guys started out twenty years ago, social media wasn't a thing, right? Um, so how has that changed the dynamic of your business in terms of obviously marketing, um, getting your name out there even the more, um, your business name out there even the more. Um, I feel like that is a social media was obviously a plus. A lot of people yeah. there's there's pros and cons to it, um, but from a business standpoint, obviously there's more pros than there is cons. Absolutely, just Absolutely. because you're able to reach a lot more people. Um, so, in 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 your regard, in terms of your business, how has that affected your uh, your business in this in this day and age? I mean, in an in an amazing way, because again, like you said, back then when we started. We didn't have that. We right. didn't have, you know, people out there, you know, you know, blogging and yeah. and showcasing you and and been, you know, Instagram, Facebook, all of that was not around at that, you know, like that. More so word of mouth. More right. so word of That's mouth. Like, yeah. But now, what social media has done, been able to take what you do and forecast or broadcast, it, if you will, yeah. Yeah. out to the masses, mm -hmm. which is huge. Yeah. Which is huge. I mean, I, of course, I remember back during COVID mm -hmm. when everything shut down. Right. Everything shut down around the world, you know, having that camera, you know, where you're able to yeah. broadcast it, get it out to people. We were doing, literally, we were doing Zoom yeah. parties. That's crazy. And we were broadcasting all over the world. We had birthday parties where we had families from Japan, fam from Hawaii, families from all around the world were logged in mm -hmm. while we were doing our party right here in the Carolinas, which was insane, yeah. you know. So I'm grateful for social media. 
it has definitely, you know, allowed us to grow. That's what's up. By leaps and bounds, for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I like to ask this question to to entrepreneurs uh, just because I think that um, this shows that how, resi- how resilient an entrepreneur can be, right? Um, so I ask you, what if, God forbid, we'll say this, God forbid, but if, let's say right now, for instance, if Nigel lost everything, business completely gone, still have your skill set. We start, we're talking about starting from ground zero. What would be the first thing that you would do to build your business back up to where it is now? I think the first thing, and I, I want to say this to you all out there, I think, you know, that's that's a valid and, and uh, wow, I mean, it's a big question. I mean, what would you do day one, being that you've already been in the seat and knowing? Yeah, you have the knowledge. You have the knowledge. You have the knowledge. That's huge. Knowledge is power. Let me say that again. Young people, middle-aged people, however old you are, knowledge is power. If you have that, you have everything. If you have life in your body, you can restart again. You can start it all over, you know, because you have the knowledge. And so I would say it would be it's easier to now reinvent because you already know. Right. So right. now would that be granted, like I said, having the knowledge. Um, and then obviously having the skill set um, to be able to perform. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that that would be, um, I'll put it to you like this. I, I guess we talk about social media. So nobody would technically know you from ground zero. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I guess maybe investing in a camera or just taking advantage of social media, I guess would pretty much kind of be, would you say would be the, the, the very first thing that you would do? Just, I, and I, I say that just pretty much to kind of, to begin to build an audience. Because you know, once you build that audience, then it's like, okay, this individual is hosting such and such or you know whatever event that it is. Mm-hmm. So now that's where you start to kind of get people to come out or if you actually uh, immerse yourself within the, the, the realm of showing up obviously to people's events or birthday parties, stuff like that. Yeah, and I was gonna say, yeah, so you have to put yourself out there. Mm-hmm. If, you're, if you're starting all over again, um, you definitely have to put yourself out there. Um, go to events, mm-hmm. go online. I mean, now today you have um, these influencers. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. oh my goodness. I mean, these influencers that really just got their camera, yeah. their phones, and overnight, yeah. Instant sensation, mm-hmm. you know, and so I think, you know, if you have the will inside, you know, because life happens to everyone, right. you know, and you can literally go from here to here like that. Yeah. The thing is, you have, to, you have to remember that, you know what, I can get back up, right. you know, you can get back up again. And so that's that's the main thing, you know, build inside of yourself to say, you know what, regardless of what happened, I can do it. If there's breath in my body, mm-hmm. I can do it. I can get back out there and start again. Right. You know, again, get in, go out, meet people, talk to people. Uh, that's one of the biggest things, yeah. for and, sure. And it's, it's funny. It's funny that you that you uh, said that because I. <laughs> so this is this is a little little backstory on Nigel. Um, not too long ago, actually, I think it, this might have been last year around Christmas time, right? So Nigel, Nigel, uh, <laughs> and and this is crazy because this is this is this is marketing. Um, because we've never here in the barbershop, or even just myself, or even like I said, Shima, or any of our other barbers, like we've never seen Nigel in action. You know, we've never seen him in action. So, Nigel, <laughs> Nigel, <laughs> for whatever reason, it's Christmas time or whatever, and Nigel comes in the barbershop. Um, he has this party bus, like this school bus. That's, uh, um, well, I'll let you. I'll let you kind of expand on that, but okay. uh, the whole school okay. bus situation, but. Nigel comes into the barbershop with like a, a little boom box and a microphone and it's, you know, this is what he do. He performs. He, you know, he's an MC and he comes into the, the barbershop. You know what I'm saying? We got people in here, people getting a haircut and he just starts singing, like playing music and he's singing. And even in that, kind of like going back to what we were saying about putting yourself out there, you know what I mean? That in itself is, uh, was a way of marketing for those that didn't know who you were. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, for you to come in and just uh, uh, bless everybody with that 
uh, performance. No, and it, and it wasn't anything overly serious. It was it was funny. It was it was, but it was witty. You know what I mean? It was witty, and it was it was fun. It was like I said, Christmas time, so everybody was enjoying it. And uh, but even still, that could have been, um, like I said, a, 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 a benefit for you in terms of you know you pretty much promote yourself saying this is what I do. I'm a performer. I have a party bus. Uh, this and this, this and that. But then the people that are in the barbershop, it's like, oh, wow, that guy came in. That's what he do. He performs. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. maybe I can use him at my next mm -hmm. event, my birthday party. Or, you know what I mean, if I'm going to have a sweet 16 for some for my daughter or son or whatever. Like, you know what I mean? So um, that was definitely, uh, I, de I felt like it was definitely a really good thing. And a lot of people were actually talking about you whenever we, whenever you left. It was like, man, that was, that was refreshing. It was refreshing. Yeah, 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 it was it was very refreshing. So, um, yeah, but I, I want you to to expand on the on the party bus and how that kind of came about because I know I think you said it took a it took a little while to get everything situated with the bus and you know de uh, 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 decorated and you know pretty much uh, made up the way that you guys wanted. So expand on that. For yeah, me. so this bus uh, now is called the Edutainment Express. Okay, the right? Express, mm -hmm. Edutainment Express. But uh, this bus came about. I I've always had the 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 vision. Mm -hmm of having a, a party slash entertainment education bus for families, for right. people, for right. everyone, right. Uh, to bring, call it, right. to bring the happy, right. to bring the and joy. that's a part of reinventing yourself. And that's a part of reinventing. That's something you was and thinking. That's right. Yeah, you was thinking, being Always creative. Always thinking. That's what's up. And um, another thing I want to share with a <laughs> little. Yeah. <laughs> right, because it always happens. Yeah. But, you know, low-hanging fruit. Mm -hmm. I call it l Right, H F L H F, low hanging fruit. Look around at what you're doing, and think, oh, if I do this, it only takes a little bit of work, but it's a huge impact. Right. Something I could just pull off. So the bus was a low hanging fruit item. Now, of course, it, before it was up here, but then it, over time it kind of came down closer where I could in reach, mm -hmm. and so uh, so. Back before COVID happens, we actually purchased this this school bus yeah. that was actually used for a NASCAR. This bus was a um, a bus that was taken to the racetracks, and um, the person that took it had a mobile racing simulator. Uh -huh. So we pull up for NASCAR gotcha. and have racing simulators so people could get on the bus and pretend like they were driving a NASCAR, yeah. right? Now or uh, a car right. rather. But the person they went out she went out of business. Mm -hmm. And we were actually looking for a bus. And through some friends, we actually found this bus in, the bus is actually, <laughs> it was in uh, Charlotte. Didn't even realize it was here. Mm -hmm. I was in Myrtle Beach at the time. Gotcha. The bus was in Charlotte, Fort Mill area. And we found the bus and got the bus, purchased it, took it back to our place, and then COVID happened. COVID. Shut everything down. That during COVID. That during COVID. <laughs> COVID, COVID. But you know what? Although it, it changed it changed a lot of people's lives, mm -hmm. it did. But what it allowed us to do was to be able to park the bus and begin to have vision for this bus. Right. And so when COVID was over, we began to put the work into this bus. It already had the seats out. Mm -hmm. It already had power. And so we just took it and, you know, upfitted it with seats. And or when I say seats, around the bus, right, right. Um, lights, sound system, instruments and so TVs, air conditions. So yeah, it's a real deal now. It's the real the real deal now. So we could pull up and party for sure. That's what's up. With the Edutainment Express. Come to a place near you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's definitely that's definitely a lot, man. Um um and I like I said I think you're doing a tremendous job with, with that. So what's well, where you are now? We we're, we're twenty years in. Um you have a lot going, uh, very successful. What's next for Nigel? And and, and I'll, I'll just say I'll, I'll say what's next for Nigel and for your uh, for your business. The next is taking what we've what we've done in the Carolinas and the surrounding areas, and to take what we're doing here and to take it around the world. Mm -hmm. And I and when I say around the world not just in the United States, but we want to be able to take it around the world. We want to be able to educate uh, children and families. 
We want to be able to inspire uh, the next generation of all ages. Mm -hmm. We want to be able to entertain, you know, around the around the world. Mm -hmm. And so we feel like we we've, you know, we've been blessed to be able to do what we do in this area. Now it's time to take it out right. to the world right. and to be able to inspire yeah, that's everyone cool. around. So that's great. That's that is the next. That is the next. That's great, man. That's that is big. That is big uh, for sure. So. Um, yeah, so that's the end of the question portion that we have here uh, with uh, Mr. Nigel. Uh, what we're going to do right now, we're actually going to take a uh, commercial break, and we will be back with you guys um, after the break. All right, guys, we are back uh, from our commercial break, and um, right now we got a special treat, man. We got a special treat. Obviously, you guys can see Mr. Nigel here. Um, we got the keyboard set up for him, and uh, he's going to give us a – uh, a little performance. He's going to give us a little performance. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you to go ahead and do your thing, man, and just uh, serenade the people, man. Serenade the people. You know what I'm saying? Let us see what you got, man. See what, you, what you're working with on the keys, man. So. Well, I mean, you know, we're just... Stop, do it, do it, put your mind to it. Be what you want to be. Put your mind to it, you can do anything. Do what you want to do. Don't stop, do it. Hey, hey, be what you want to be. Put your mind to it, you can do anything. Do what you want to do. Come on now. Don't stop. On. Hey, one more hey. time. Be what you want to be. Okay. Put your mind to it, you can do anything. Do what you want to do. Don't stop, do it, do it, put your mind. Don't stop, do it, put your mind to it. Do it. Don't stop, do it, do it, put your mind to it. Don't stop, do it, put your Hey, put your mind to it. You can do anything. Hey. Don't stop, do it, do it, put your mind to it. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, that's dope. That's dope. That's dope. Yeah, so that's now, the song. That, that is the song. That's the song that um, you said that you had made when Obama, had yeah, into when he came office. into office. Yeah, office. yeah. So, so, so what? Like, is that's what inspired you, obviously, to, to make that song? Was, yeah, yeah. Obviously because they, you know, they were really big on education. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really big of saying you can do it, believing yourself and say yes, I can. Uh -huh. Now remember that back in the day, that was the that was yeah, the thing. Yeah. You know, yes, I can. Uh -huh. Yes, we can. And so I was sitting there, and I was like, you can be what you want to be. Put your mind to it. You can do anything. Do what you want to do. Don't stop. Do it. Do it. Put your mind to it. And I was like, ooh, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. That's a little, yeah, a little ring you know, to it. Yeah. Little ring. And at that time, just thinking about, you know, kids and everyone really, but just thinking about how you know, a lot of times we give up on things in life. Right. And so it's like, you know what? I want to come up with something that can inspire the next generation, which is, that's what it's all about. Uh -huh. You know, um, you know, as I'm 50 years old now, believe it or not, 50, year, 50 years old and so grateful, I think about like, what can I do to be able to inspire the next generation mm -hmm. for them to be able to move on and continue to do, uh, you know, we, we, we <clears throat> kind of lit the torch, right? right, right. But we want to be able to pass the torch mm -hmm for them to be able to carry it on into the future. And that's like, whatever you do, whether you a barber, whether you are a carpenter, whatever you do, you want to be able to pass it on to the next generation. Mm -hmm. And so never never get you know stuck in your, your, your way of saying, you know, I've arrived. No, you haven't. Yeah. You know, we always have something more that we can learn. And so even with playing, I mean, that's, I love playing. I really enjoy playing, but you can never stop learning. Never stop. I love the sound of the keys. Man. Love the keys. Love, love the, keys. the sound of the keys. Love the keys. It just. Yeah. 
Of course, you know, I got my start in church. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right? Yes, sir. We're taking a church. Yeah, you know. Oh, how I love Jesus. Oh, uh, how, how I love Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Because he first loved me. Oh, yes, sir. Right? I mean, that's, ah. that's where it all started, I'll tell you what. But, again, don't give up. Don't give up on the vision. Don't give up on the dream. Whatever's inside, allow it to come forth in you. You can do it. It's a message. You can do it. That's you can do message. it. You That's can do it. Just don't, don't give up. Don't give up. Now, there are a lot of times in my life where I wanted to give up, but I realized, you know what? I can't because he's given so much. Because he's given so much, right, right. I got to give. I got to give. Always and forever, each moment with you is just like a dream to me that somehow came true. And I know tomorrow, oh yeah, still be the same. Cause we've got a life of love that won't ever change. And every day, love me your own special way. Melt all my heart away with a smile. Take time to tell me if you really care and we'll share tomorrow. Yeah. Man, that's what's up. Oh man. my goodness. So uh, much fun. So much fun. So, so much, much fun. fun. You can do so many different things with that with the keyboard. Yeah. Man. Just just entertain. Yeah. Entertain. Yeah. That's like I said, that's that's one of the reasons why I, I definitely love the keys. I just feel like you you're able to move people. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you're able to to uh make people laugh, make people cry, make people there's just so many different emotions that that comes with music, man. And I just feel like um the keys. I mean, as well as the saxophone. I like. I love the saxophone too. Yeah. I, saxophone yeah. and violin. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the three where it's just like, man, for whatever reason, those instruments, man, it just seem like they just move you. Absolutely. They just move you. Absolutely. Um, Absolutely. I, I just, I think it's a great thing. So. You know, and and tying all of that in at what you do, you know, um, and again, whether it's music, whether whatever you do, you know, why do you do what you do? Mm -hmm. Why do you do it? You know. And ultimately, it is to to create a response right. out of people, um, and so put that to it. Put that, make it, make it happen, make it happen for sure. Yeah, yeah, sure, you know? sure. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I agree with you. The keys, the keys, the man. keys, it's man. Something about them, it's something about them. Yeah. Let's let's shame them. Let's let's take them. Let's take them back to church, though. Let's let's take them back to church. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see if you can okay. find me. Let's, let's see if you can find me real quick. Let's see, see what we, we, we can find. We uh, we, uh, we know what I'm saying. Some 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 light, but we gonna see if we can find me. Okay, okay. I've had some good day. All right. I've had some hills to climb. I've had some weary days and some sleepless nights. But when I, when I look around and I think things over, 
All of my good days yes, sir. outweigh my bad days, and I, I won't complain. Yes, sir. We're going to take another verse. Sometimes the clouds hang low. Hardly see the road. I asked a question, Lord. Lord, why so much pain? But He knows what's best for me. My weary eyes, they can't see, can't see. So I'll just say, thank you, Lord. Why don't you say, thank you, Lord. Oh, I won't come. That's all I'm gonna give you right there. That's, that's all I'm gonna give you. Y'all gonna, that's move, it, that's it, that's gonna move me up in here. Y'all gonna move me in here. Cause what, cause what, cause what, cause what? God has been so good to me. Yes, he has, yes, he has. He's been good to me. Uh huh, uh huh. Uh, yes, he has. More than this old world or you could ever be. He's been so good to me, 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 me. <laughs> yeah, he dried all of my tears away. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Turned my midnights into day. So I'll just say. Thank you, Lord. I've been lied on, but thank you, Lord. Woo. I've been talked about, but thank you, Lord. I've been misunderstood, but thank you, Lord. My bills are due, but thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want. My God. Yeah. My God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's good. I tell you, man. I tell you. Yeah. Even with, like I say, man, just just music, man. Yeah. Just the way that it moves. Yeah. You know, yeah. you're, you're in certain settings. Yeah. Um, and even church settings, man, I, you know, tell people all the time, man, if if, if you're in a church setting and, yeah. you know, you have a, a really great pianist and uh, the music doesn't move you. Yeah. Something is wrong. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. wrong. And mm -hmm. um, so yeah, like I said, man, I, I do, man. I, I genuinely love the keys, man. And um, just to 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 have uh, you know you to come in, man, and just to to bless us with your performance, uh, to bless us with um, just your presence, man. Mm. Your presence. Mm. Your your mm. Um, your presence on camera. Like this is what you do. Like you know what I mean. You're 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 a natural at it, and. Um, Honestly, man, I couldn't have asked for a better uh, guest, you know, for the for the very first wow. uh, podcast episode. So, well, brother, it's truly an yeah, honor yeah, to yeah. be here, you know, uh, to to be here with you uh -huh. and to be with be with you guys out there. It just, you know, it's, it's such a blessing. Yeah. It really is, and so thank you for having have me yes, on. And yes, yes, get to come that. back too. Oh, most definitely, most <laughs> yeah. definitely, yeah, most definitely. And um, yeah. So I mean, just just wrapping up this episode, mm -hmm. um. Um, I'll actually kind of we talked about off camera. I know you wanted to kind of give a 
um, kind of like your takeaway or your your message for the people out there in terms of, um, you know, uh, the kids or not yeah. just necessarily kids, but up and coming up entrepreneurs and coming. or whatever the case yeah. may be. Uh, so yeah, go ahead, go ahead and, and you know, kind of give your spill on that. Listen, don't give up. That's that's the main thing. Don't give up. Life is hard. Life can get hard. Life can get difficult. But as long as there's breath in your body, and you you know you believe in yourself, and again associate yourself with those who believe in you. Mm -hmm. uh, that's very important. You want to have you want to have a support group of those who care about you and care about your success. Exactly. Uh, you can't tell everybody everything, you know, because sometimes we do have people who. Uh, don't want you to achieve. Don't we know it? Right. We have some people that don't want you yeah. to, you know, accomplish. You know, so you have to really align yourself mm -hmm. with folks, with people who can push you and right, right. say, you know what? Yes, you can do it. Mm -hmm. Don't give up. You know. Um, so that's what I want to say to everyone. Make sure you know always that you can do it, regardless of your circumstance. You can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you for that. For sure. Definitely. Thank you for that. Um, yeah, so we're going to wrap this uh, episode up. Like I said, this was the very first episode of uh, Boss Move, the podcast. Um, Nigel, if you would, uh, you can kind of give your uh, social media uh, handles uh, so that people can follow you on social yes. media. Yes, mm -hmm. please, please follow us uh, on the Edutainment Group on Instagram. Uh, again, the Edutainment Group or Mr. Nigel and Friends. Mr. Nigel and Friends on Facebook. Okay. If you want to stay connect, connected with us, um, you can look, look us up online and and we would love to come out and and be able to bring the party, be able to bring the fun, and bring the happy. Yep. All right, guys. So um, that is going to conclude uh, this actual episode. Um, if you guys have not already, make sure that you guys give this video a like. Give it a thumbs up. Um, share this video. Leave a comment in the comment section um, if there's anything that you guys liked uh, or you know want to talk about or even want us to talk about, uh, even in, a, in another episode. Um, and, yeah, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. I'll most definitely do that. And if you guys are listening on Apple Podcasts, be sure to rate, review, and subscribe on there. Uh, thank you guys again for tuning in with us um, and making this video a success. And we'll see you guys next week on another video.